Hi, this is Chuck Hughes. Today I would like to discuss buying opportunities that occur when leading stocks that are in a price uptrend become temporarily uh, oversold. This usually sets up a great uh, buying opportunity. And uh, I like to use the Keltner channels to help me uh, find these oversold stocks. And uh, the Keltner channels are uh, overbought, oversold indicators, and uh, usually when a stock uh, trades up near the uh, upper channel, it's becoming overbought, and usually a, a price decline follows. And uh, when a stock trades near the lower channel, it indicates that the stock is becoming oversold, and uh, there's usually a rally that ensues. Now, uh, once in a while, the stock will actually uh, close below the lower channel of the Keltner band and uh, this usually sets up a great uh, buying opportunity and a uh, powerful rally. Uh, it doesn't occur that often but I like to uh, keep an eye out on these these type of uh, high probability buy signals and uh, I'm displaying two examples uh, right now for Tesoro and Netflix and uh, you can see in August, uh, Tesoro stock uh, actually closed below the lower uh, Keltner channel. And uh, this set up a great buying opportunity. And um, Tesoro uh, stock uh, subsequently rallied 67%. And uh, same situation for Netflix. In uh, July, uh, Netflix closed below the lower channel and it set up a great buying opportunity uh, with a 78% rally. So uh, whenever uh, a stock closes below the lower channel, uh, it usually sets up a, uh, a very strong rally and is a great high probability uh, buy signal. Here are two more examples of stocks that became very oversold and subsequently had a very uh, strong rally. And uh, you can see uh, Caterpillar uh, stock closed below the lower channel and uh, it subsequently rallied 85%. And uh, Nordson uh, closed below the uh, lower Keltner channel in uh, July and uh, subsequently had a 69% rally. So again, uh, when stocks uh, become oversold uh, and actually close below the lower Keltner channel, uh, it usually sets up a great uh, buying opportunity. And uh, now the Keltner uh, channels can easily be uh, downloaded from uh, stockcharts.com. And I'm always uh, monitoring the Keltner channels and uh, looking for uh, leading stocks that uh, become temporarily over, oversold and are about to set up for a good uh, buying opportunity. And I'll show you an example of some uh, current oversold stocks uh, uh, as of today. Here are an example of two stocks, Baidu and Digital River, uh, that are currently uh, trading below the lower Keltner channel. So, uh, this is setting up to be a good buying opportunities for these stocks. And uh, I actually uh, bought Baidu stock today. Here is an example of a trade recommendation for VMware uh, I made to my um, advisory service members on October 7th when VMware uh, closed below the uh, uh, lower Keltner channel. And uh, I recommended a uh, call option spread uh, and VMware is up nicely since that uh, buy signal. Now the Keltner channels are just one of the tools I use to make trade recommendations for my inner circle advisory service and um, I'm showing the uh, current year-to-date profits uh, for the advisory service and we uh, currently have over $340,000 in uh, closed trade profits. And here are the current open trade results for my inner circle advisory service 
as of uh, December 1st, uh, the six uh, trading portfolios currently have uh, over a million dollars in open trade profits, and 94% of the trades are currently profitable. So we're having a great year so far. Uh, if you'd like more information on the Chuck Hughes Inner Circle, uh, log on to uh, chuckhughesic.com. Uh, this is Chuck Hughes. Thanks for listening, and I'd like to wish you happy holidays and the best in trading success in the coming new year.